Mangodi. Yes? Can you show me how to split a hide so I can wear it for ritual? Yeah, go get your wolf hide. So this is uh, an Idaho wolf purchased from our local animal parts dealer. But whether you purchase one or you go out and hunt it yourself, there's always a good chance that it's case skinned like this. So it's one big long tube. But if you're wanting to wear it, unless you're wearing it like a mink, if you actually want it to be a functional, like a shoulder cloak, you're going to have to split the hide. And there's a good way to do it without damaging any of the hairs. Use a really sharp blade or a sharp knife. Go all the way in, you're going to cut it from the inside out. This is a big wolf too. Now we don't want to split the jaw. I can probably soak this down and remold it, but I don't want to split the jaw. I want somewhere up near it on the neck. I'm just going to poke through. Coming right up to the bottom, see? I poke through and then I very carefully, I'm drawing down the animal and staying as centered as I can possibly stay. It's important to use a very sharp knife. Stay centered all the way. Take your time. You only have one shot at it. And the reason I'm going from the inside to the outside is so I don't cut any of the hairs. Because if I cut the wolf's hairs, it's going to look really weird. And I have to go around, in this case, his remainder of his sheath. There we go. And now you have a split hide that you can wear generally by lashing these two together with a scrap piece of leather. Or tie her up.